G'day guys and welcome back to our channel, Nick and Helmy. I just got shot on by a bird. Yay! Again! Second week in a row. Good luck. Don't yes, worry. good luck. Let's hope that's not a third Helmy, okay? <laughs> we're here in Cabramatta because we're going to be doing another $20 challenge. Hooray! Thanks to you guys who recommended Cabramatta as a good spot to hit. Yes, Cabramatta has a lot of cheap eats. We actually covered it before. If you haven't seen our episode before, the link's right here. But today we're going to be hitting a couple of spots, or well, as many spots as the $20 can take you. So stay till the end to see if we are going to hit the budget or are we going to go over budget. What do you think, Helmi? Are we going to go over? I don't know. We see? shall see. Alright, so first spot obviously is banh mi. I think this is the most expensive food that we eat today. So Cabramata is Vietnamese town and obviously we have to try the banh mi. And we've done a banh mi episode before. We tried the Tony Bakery, we've tried the Viet Hot Ha Bakery. But today we are trying the KK Bakery and we got this for how much Nick? $6.50 That's right Yeah, $6.50 for the barbecue pork roll But if you come with your friends or if you are in super budget and you want to eat more banh mi Go to the hot bread because they have 4 banh mi for $15 Oh my god, so it's like what? $3 something $3 mm, Doesn't get any cheaper than that That's for banh mi Yeah, it's very very cheap But anyhow, so today we got this one the cheapest one is actually $6, but I thought, you know what, let's just have the barbecue pork. And look at that, it's a big chunk of pork with some coriander, with chili, and I don't know what sauce is that. It looks like a... Um, like a chili, sweet, sweet chili sauce. Yeah, sweet chili sauce. And the pate, the mayo, wow, okay. And they're so hidden, it's actually inside a shopping center. If you don't go in, you wouldn't know the place, right? Yeah, it's like a little alleyway a little there. Little alleyway. In the middle. Yeah, alright. Let's do it. That's a big bite, tell me. Mm. You know what? I have to take another bite because the first bite is basically just the bread and half of the uh, nam nang. <laughs> so I took another bite to try everything. And okay, so first thing first, the bread is really good. I think it's because they are bakery, so it's very crunchy. And also the nam nang. So the nam nang, I don't know about this, but I feel like the nam nang, which is the barbecue pork, has this lemongrass flavor. So it's really nice. So it's like sweet, uh, smoky, and has this kind of lemongrass hint with some uh, sweet chili sauce. Never really have the sweet chili sauce, right? Yeah, so there's like sweet chili. Yeah. And then it looks like there's like like a, almost like a meatball, like three chunks yeah. there. Yeah, so it looks like meatball right there as well. And the rest are... Standard, the your standard, coriander, your yeah. cucumber, your carrots, your chili. That's right. Yeah. And uh, the pate is pretty good as well. Um, it's like perfect creaminess. It's not too heavily porky flavor liver. Helmi's right, the bread, it's pretty good, it's pretty flaky. It kind of really depends on how you kind of like your banh mi. Some people like bread that is really soft. Some people like it when it's like kind of hard, sturdy and crunchy like this. So it really depends. But one good thing I think about the bread is that if the bread can contain everything without it being soggy, yeah. that's kind of what you want yeah. from a banh mi. And this is like, you can see how, how flaky and crunchy in the top still. And it's been like, what, 15 minutes since we left? In terms of the pate, nice and smooth. Uh, very light though, uh, compared to other like banh mi places that we've tried. Now for for the nam nang, I do feel it's a little dry in the middle sometimes. But you know, if you add that sweet chili, that glaze, you know, that pate, uh, it just makes it kind of juicier. But overall, like it feels a little dry there in the middle though, compared to other nam nang that I've eaten. But overall, still pretty good. Alright, so this place actually do chips and chippies and the cheapest one is small chips for $3.50 Can I get one small chip? Okay, I know we're in Cabramatta but come on man, chips? I love my chips, right? Yeah. So just across from Commonwealth Bank, just across the road there, there's like a little place I don't know if it's still Redley, I think it's called Fresh Farm Chicken but they do, I guess, generous amount of chips 
with chicken sole and also either that's chili or paprika, one of them. But this is just a small one for three dollars fifty. Mm -hmm. The chicken chips looks good too, right? Oh yeah, but they're like more expensive, so we thought why not just do some chips? You know, it's a good day actually for once. It's not raining. Yeah. Yep, so these guys are coming. Want to have some chips? Is it good? Not bad. It's fresh because it's still hot and you can feel that chicken salt. They're really generous with the seasoning as you can see. And, uh, and also the, I think, paprika uh, seasoning as well. So it's nice. It's not even spicy at all. I'm not going to give one to the bird because <laughs> of what happened. I was going to be nice, but no, not today. <laughs> All right, next up we are having bankep. I think that's how you say it. It's like a coconut uh, pandan, pandan waffle, yeah. right? Yeah. We're gonna get it from Tony's, well, we've already got them it from Tony's Bakery, but there was another store further down somewhere there before, but we went looking for that store and it's, it's gone. Yeah. So the that cheapest. One is cheaper. Yeah, right? but this is also pretty cheap. It's $2. It's a classic. This is one of our favorite when we go here. We usually get it before we leave the car park. Yeah. I literally, like, we, after we eat uh, all around Cabramera, we would come and just take one of these to go. And that is just perfect. So this is the coconut uh, panda waffle. My goodness. Ooh, look at that. See, the only problem is that it's just slightly on the colder side now. I mean, it's still warm, but it's not as hot as when you make it fresh. But yeah, look at that. Look how spongy it is. Mm. It's still good, it's still warm. So not too bad, but not as hot as I wanted it to be. But yeah, it's nice. It's got that really nice, very faint, subtle, a uh, sweetness to it. It's a perfect street food like if you just want to walk around here yeah. around Cabramatta while you're shopping. Do you know Nick what's the best about this one? Let's say if it's hot and then you put condensed milk on top. See? You're right. Yeah. See now Helmi's thinking fusion right now. <laughs> adding all that stuff. Yeah that's right. This is a um, thicker style that we normally have. We normally have the very thin stuff and it's a bit cold right now but it's still very very good it's like subtle coconut and pandan so it's not too sweet and it's just perfect just munching like this mm. this is the one so i really want to try the air lab fluffy pancake but it's gonna blow our budget definitely but you look at the line it's yeah. insane there's so many people so crazy. yeah it's probably like the most packed store right now yeah here on on john street hella crazy the correction the place is actually in here Fiat Hua Hot Bread so if you go under the small alleyway you can see it and it's the same two dollars but normally we got this one it's a uh, crispier which I prefer that one so there's you right now guess what sugar cane juice for two dollar yep at this place so apparently from all the places that we've checked out all around Cabramatta this is the cheapest so $2. $2. It's like a loose change, right? So if you got loose change, you go over here. And they actually have a deal. Look at that. So medium, three for $5. No, $6. Yep, and two for $5. That's right. That's so, large. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So it's pretty good. Now, we just need to find a coffee place here in Cabramatta that's also within $2 budget. I don't know where. If you guys know, let us know down in the comments below. A lot of ice though. I think some places, if you say no ice, they'll charge you extra 50 cents. Yeah. I'm not sure about this place, but we just keep it safe. And this is $2 only. Yeah, and it's perfect. Do you know how humid it is right now? It yeah, is it's insanely humid. I thought today is gonna be like raining and cold, so I wore something, you know, long. But it's actually very hot. So this is perfect. Oh my god, it is so refreshingly good. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea guys, really literally today is very very hot. It's yeah. very humid, I'm like sweating. But this is good insanely though. good, yeah yeah. For $2, yeah. my god, feels like you can keep going yeah. forever and ever until your money ends at $20. <laughs> <laughs>
So the next spot is a bakery called AA Bakery and it's inside a plaza again. There's like a little hidden alleyways everywhere around Cabramatta. We've got about $6 left right now after everything we've eaten. We're thinking of trying the barbecue pork pie there for $1.90. This kind of reminds me of uh, yum cha, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like top bread, but this is like a lot of uh, Vietnamese stuff here as well. So they got a pate chow chicken. I have no idea what that is. I've never tried that. But I'm actually, I'm actually keen to try that one day. Yeah. Seems like I think there's a pate inside it as well as chicken. This one it has the pork. Look at that. Yeah. And also you can buy the banh mi bread. The mini one for 50 cents, the normal size for $1, and the huge one for only $2.50. Look at that. Yeah, but might as well just get from the real bunny place though. Yeah, but that's <laughs> a nice bread. I mean, that's you can true. have it with butter as well. We were about to just eat this beautiful barbecue pork pie, <laughs> and then some bird flew in. Bam! Right here. <laughs> You cannot be this lucky, right? Trust me, you cannot be this lucky. Seriously, we're not making this up, okay? Help me just wipe everything here off my neck. There's a mark right here from the beginning when we did the intro. Seriously, like, I cannot be that lucky, seriously. I thought it would be next week, you know? In Cabramatta, you gotta worry about the birds, okay? They're the number one enemies of Cabramatta, okay? I'll tell you that. Maybe it's just you. <laughs> I'm like a walking target, you know. They see me, they're like, yep, yep, <laughs> gonna go down there, scoop, you know. Oh my god. <sighs> Unbelievable. Good thing we've got only one more spot after this one, okay? <laughs> so this is the barbecue pork pie. Kinda reminds you of yum cha, right? <laughs> Just gotta make sure, you know. Alright, let's give this a go quickly. Mmm, yeah. Oh, the barbecue pork inside the like chashu it's pretty much chashu man you got that sweetness beautiful and then the pastry is flaky and brittle it just really melts in your mouth the top you got that sesame seed yeah but this is just like a chashu it's like your yum cha item it's beautiful simple it's a good snack on the go dollar 90. yeah so that place is actually perfect if you're looking for pastries um, i think they've got a lot of range uh, Vietnamese uh, pastries and some of your classic yum cha items so yeah give that place a go uh, definitely prove this particular cha shu is sweet nice juicy can ask for more right except it's not hot that's the only thing the next place is called Quezon Sweets normally we basically got the soursop juice or durian juice yeah smoothies that's right and it's really cheap it's like five dollars for soursop and seven dollars for durian or you can basically do like mixed juice for five dollars as well however it's out of our budget for today so we got the uh, deep fried I think banana, banana fritters. fritters this is the banana and this one is Taro. So it's 90 cents each. They have a deal, I think three for $2.50. But we thought, uh, we started getting full actually. So it's very surprising, but yes, $20 can give you a lot of food here in Cabramata. So which one do you want to try? Nick? I think the left one is this the one? banana, I think. Banana, that's, yeah. And that's a Taro, right? That's right. Uh, I like the banana. You like banana? You all like right. taro? Let me try the taro. So first of all, disclaimer, it's cold. So unfortunately, it's not like deep fried fresh. So it's sort of cold. Let's try this. I was actually surprised because I thought the batter gonna be like soggy because it's been there quite a while and it's actually cold. I mean, not like stone cold, you know, but cold and it's a bit oily, but it's actually quite crunchy. And I thought it's gonna be like plain or kind of savory, but this one is sort of sweeter side. I reckon if it's fried and you eat it straight away, it's damn delicious. All right, so this is the banana one, and it is actually pretty oily because it's deep fried. I can feel how oily it is, but yeah, I keep seeing people coming in and go buying heaps of this stuff so we know that the locals love it and we're gonna try it too look at that all right let's try this 
The battle looks tick though, help me, eh? The beautiful soft banana inside literally just melts in your mouth. It's so sweet. You know what the battle feels like? This feels like you eating yotia, which is the Chinese fried bread, and inside you've got the banana. Mm. That's what it feels like. Like exactly like that. Kind of nice and sweet. It's a good kind of like afternoon savory sweet dessert snack. Yeah. A bit of a mix of everything. Yeah, you get the savory kind of taste, you get the sweetness, you get the crunchiness, and you get the oiliness too. Okay, so we had $2.30 left. We didn't know what to get, right? We wanted to get dessert or another drink and decided like, why don't we just get a chicken bun instead? <laughs> <laughs> we went to this, uh, uh, I forgot the name, is Chef. Master so, Chef. Master Bing Chef. Bing. That's right. So they do like a lot of like yamcha item. Um, a lot of them actually for $1.50, like chicken bun, barbecue pork, pork bun. bun. Yeah. They got even yamcha items like, you know, hakao and all that stuff. So yeah, we decided to get the chicken Bun. Got a rip off. Don't eat. <laughs> the paper. <laughs> the Pretty paper. sure the paper is the same. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's the truth. Yeah. I definitely not as hot as I wanted it to be, but the chicken is still juicy. It's still actually quite tender. It's very soft. If you love chicken bun from Yamcha, this is the exact kind of replica to it, and it's actually pretty good. So the chicken bun is pretty good for $1.50. I know it's not the fresh, you know, like it's not really steaming hot. So it's pretty cold, uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. And we actually left with 80 cents. I know there's one place that do yo tiao, which is the breadstick for like 70 cents. But I guess we can save it for next time. Maybe we can do part two of $20 in Kabramata. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and don't forget to punch the like button, subscribe, ring the bell notification and I'll see you next week. See ya!